Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA with an important message for LA and all the surrounding cities. You know what, grass has been villainized. And I, you know what, grass has been around for a lot longer than, than people have on, on the planet Earth. Grass is not the enemy. Grass is not evil. Grass is actually good. Why it's being villainized is not because grass has done anything bad or wrong, it's because people have, we as a society, have not put, been irrigating the right way. We have not been irrigating our grass the right way. When you see sprinklers pop up out of the ground and they push water out, overhead watering, so to speak, that's what that we call it in the trade, well, you're wasting about half the water because about half the water gets, uh, it, it just goes up in the air and it's lost through evaporation and wind drift. The best way to water is what you see here. This is called the Rainbird Copper Shield Technology Drip Irrigation. Now, uh, we purpose, uh, since this is a really small job, we actually uh, put it, laid it on top. What's gonna go on top of here is gonna be uh, a sod. In fact, we're gonna use um, a sod that the kids are gonna be able to play on. You have to admit, if you have kids or you have dogs, nothing takes the place of real grass. And so that's what we're gonna put. Now, an interesting thing about this is that if you check out uh, here, I will give you a couple couple of things to notice here. This uh, this particular hole right here, it, it's every 12 inches with the Rainbird drip. So every 12 inches, and we lay our lines every 12 inches. So it's important for you to know, we're not doing every job. We, we couldn't possibly do every job in, in the whole LA area because it's just too overwhelming. So if you have your gardener, have them watch this video, learn a few things. Number one, have them lay your lines every 12 inches. So if I, my foot is, is 12 inches, uh, it's 12 inches in length. So you can see that these lines are every 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches. Okay, and then the holes in are, that are laser drilled in these drip tubing tubes are actually every 12 inches. So this is essentially, it's a grid of every 12 inches it comes out. Now, we like the 0.6 gallon per hour. It just works, not gonna make this a technical video, but just um, to tell you that it works. It really works well for us. So it, if we leave this on for 15, 20 minutes, the entire area will be wet and saturated. And after all, isn't the goal of irrigation, period, to water the root zone. So this is gonna be located at the root zone of the grass. So we'll give it a little overhead watering when we lay the grass tomorrow and the drip irrigation will take over. I wanna show you a couple of things that are uh, essential and pivotal to this, the, the success of this. Uh, by the way, nice plantings here. This is uh, Kelsey Fair Landscape Design. She went ahead and, and got this in, uh, just did the design, uh, spotted it out. But I wanted to, one, and we're also going to delay drip irrigation to the succulents too. I wanted to show you this particular valve. This is the special Rainbird irrigation valve. We also have this uh, timer. It's what I consider the world's best, uh, how would we say this, uh, the world's best timer. Oh here, I'll give a little background information. Uh, Homer has a clock, a timer, it was just shot. They didn't want the, the the electricity for some reason goes out all the time. They don't want to have to keep redoing the sprinkler timer over and over and over again, resetting it. So they said, is there something that is not tied into the house electricity? We said, yes. We went ahead and got this Hunter uh, Rain, it's called the Node. It's made by Hunter. It's a rainbow, or excuse me, it's the Hunter Node. It's a battery operated timer. And uh, it's a great little timer because it uh, lasts about two years between having to change out the two nine volt batteries that are in here. And it's an actual timer. It's not a little dial that you turn and it, it, it can break down. This thing is really built to last. You even go underwater. So just, just amazing. But just to show you some of the technology, also uh, we have the Rainbird pressure uh, reducer in here. Also, this is a, uh, a um, filter. So it filters out any impediments. You clean this filter out, like any filter. A uh, great little filter, and then you have it. There, there you have it. So drought tolerant plants, grass, which is not drought tolerant, but if you're gonna have it, you might as well put the world's best, the most water efficient way of, of watering uh, down. That's with drip irrigation. And has the copper 
uh, tubing, I mentioned that, uh, the copper keeps roots from penetrating. If we didn't do that, we'd probably have to splice in a, a fertigation unit and put herbicide down there. Ugh! Who wants to put stuff that's potentially ca cancer causing so your kids can roll over in? Or at the very least, it's going to kill the soil biology. You don't want that. So this is Mike with Enviroscape LA doing this YouTube video to educate the public on how best we can move forward in a sustainable way as a society. And of course, when you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.